Wow, who did all this? I did. As our new leader, you deserve a layer that reflects your personality. Have we met? No, I'm Shadow, and my family and I transferred here while you were gone. We spent most of our lives living in the gutter. Literally, it's amazing how many people you can cram into one of those things. <laughs> hey, quick question. If you were leader, which you're not, but if you were, what would your first order of business be? Oh, well, first up, you need to figure out what to do with him. Oh. Uh, what is that thing? Mm, Onyx's emotional support monster. <laughs> Even have the fake paperwork to take him on planes. Oh, great. Well, then let's put him on one and send him to the superheroes. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like that. Oh, please. How much damage could he possibly do in that thing? Now I can do some damage. What are we gonna do? Shadow, it's times like these you need to face your fears and protect the people who mean the most. Oh, spoken like a true leader. I was talking about you. This is way below my pay grade. Great, <laughs> hey, don't worry. I got this. After all, I am here to serve you. <laughs> yeah, that's never gonna get old. Later. <laughs> well, Havoc. You've been gone so long, you forgot the first rule of being a villain. Always watch your back. Come on, Colby, pick up the pace. We only have an hour left. Look, you either get the super speed version or you get me trying to figure out how to tie a balloon. How do you not know how to tie a balloon? I'm a villain. The only knot we use is for tying people up. We can try that one if you want. <laughs> Hartley, look, this is going nowhere. You know, I'm all about helping, but every time I do something, you just sneak up behind me and do it over again. That is not true. <laughs> look, if you want it done your way, you're the only one that can do it. And with an hour left, that's just not possible. Or maybe it is. What do you mean? What if Colby uses his transference power to lend you his super speed? And you can set up the party exactly how you want in seconds. No way! I don't want one of his freakish villain powers in me! <laughs> Sorry. Inside, Hartley just spoke outside. <laughs> well, if you don't want his super speed, then you're gonna have to settle for crooked streamers and one little balloon. <laughs> Take that no balloon. What do you say? I mean, do you want to turn down that make-believe steak dinner from that make-believe law school or not? <laughs> How exactly does it work? He just fist bumps you and the power's yours. And when you're done, just fist bump him back. Easy peasy. And can we hurry this up? I've been around the Sunshine Club stuff so long, I just said easy peasy. <laughs> and your shirt's sure safe to use on a regular person like me? Actually, Of yeah. course. Uh, but in all fairness, after what we've witnessed today, I think regular person's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll do it. Just let me put this down first. I don't think this is a good idea. We have no clue how my power will react with her body. She'll be fine. Plus, it's our only way out of this mess. Just do it. <sighs> fine. All right, Colby. Give me your super speed. <sighs> okay, now you've got it. But I don't feel anything. Yeah, because you're not moving. <laughs> oh, right. Feeling anything now? I hear you've been making eyes at my lady. Let's see you try that without a head. Ha <laughs> 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 Classic Milo. Starting to understand why our school has guidance counselors. Sup, bruh? I know yesterday we left things on a pretty even footing. No, it was more like I flipped you. Everyone laughed, and then a tear rolled down your cheek. <laughs> That was eyeball sweat. But now, I'm ready to take you down. Bring it. Hey, we don't have many black belt students here, so I guess I'll have to be your sparring partner. Sure, why not? I never turned down an invitation to hurt someone. <laughs> you are really good. Where'd you say you trained? Oh, you know, the, uh, streets. 
cool. Hey, can you do a 720 tornado kick? No, but I can do this. Oh. Oh. I win. <laughs> oh, you're just begging for some pain. Karate chop! <laughs> I'd laugh, but I don't want to stifle my masculine persona. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It worked. Eh, you got lucky. Well, if you weren't begging for pain before, you will be now. <laughs> you don't even know karate. How is this even possible? <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Well, on the bright side, at least he's still moving. <laughs> so, what do you think of my tux? Well, if your personality doesn't sparkle, at least your outfit will. <laughs> Just remember, keep my grandma busy so she doesn't wonder where I am. So excited to spend my birthday with all of you <laughs> right here, where I will be all night. Too much. Copy that. <laughs> oh, darn. My fascinator's coming loose. I should uh, probably go take care of that. <laughs> Wait. You know what I love is how the teacups come on their own little saucer. It's like the saucer is the plate and the cup is the food. Don't worry, I won't eat the cup. That's a mistake you don't make twice. <laughs> Just for the record, he was not invited. <laughs> Get off my head! <laughs> oh, look, everyone, it's the birthday girl! Woo! Where have you been? Sorry, I was, uh, apologizing to my grandma for canceling the tea party, which I totally did. Why are you out of breath? Oh, uh, you know, parties are stressful, so I'm, uh, doing some deep breathing exercises to stay calm and centered. See? Look, it's a party. If you want to let stress out, just shout like this. Not a party till you break something, am I right? Will you calm down? Anywhere can be a parking spot. Uh, what are you two doing here? Oh, hey, Hartley. Yeah, you know, I'm just making some pottery with my bestie. Bestie? This girl needs a checkup. I thought you said pottery was boring. What are you really doing here? Well, you've been having such a good time with Hartley and not me. I didn't want to miss out on the fun. And you got my grandma to come? <laughs> it didn't take much convincing. We've actually gotten very close over the last 40 minutes, right, Grandma? Only two people get to call me Grandma, Hartley, and somebody I'm not at liberty to talk about. <laughs> Amy, are you jealous that I'm here with Hartley and not you? No. I think you're both jealous because I am here with Celia, and we are going to put you to shame. <laughs> All right, people, the time has come for our partner project. Remember, all the world's a lump of clay, and all the men and women merely potters. <laughs> all right, let's make some shelf candy. <laughs> Ooh, guys, just so you know, that wheel can be a little tricky. I got it, Mom. I've got Celia to help me. We're a perfect pair. <laughs> you know how to work this thing, right? Does it have a trigger? No. Then I do not. Don't get up, I'll just let myself in. Great. While you're at it, can you let yourself back out? What's with the attitude? Oh, did you finally realize the whole chosen one thing means nothing to anyone but you? No, I have a fever. 
Oh, great. Does that mean you're gonna start being all needy? I mean, uh, what can I get for you, sick child? Don't worry, Colby. I'll make you some soup and you'll feel better in no time. Well, that may work for normal people, but not with us supervillains. When we get a fever, we don't just feel sick. Our powers start to randomly glitch. I think you underestimated my chicken noodle game. No, he's right. Once the glitches kick in, you can't stop them. Last time Jake was sick, his super strength tore every door off its hinges. It was a good month for the handyman. Colby, you're not leaving the house until your fever breaks. Hartley, I'll take my soup and a bread bowl. I'll keep you company. Ooh, we can look at photos from my last Sunshine Club event. We had a good deeds contest. Guess who won? Everyone, because we all win when we do good deeds. Can you do a good deed for me now and leave? Sorry, it's the fever talking. <laughs> Uh, what was that? That's what I'm talking about. His powers are glitching. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? No, it's not funny. Your son looks like an indecisive ghost. Yeah, that's why it's funny. <laughs> I can't answer any questions. But if a lady named Marion shows up looking for me, tell her I moved to Cleveland. <laughs> what are you two doing? And in case you're wondering, that's not how to hide a body. <laughs> You all right? You look pasty. I'm sick. Oh, sick meaning cool, like the kids say. I'm down with the hip slang. <laughs> no, sick as in sick. Sick, sick? Oh, 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 well, then what are you touching me for? <laughs> I gotta go. Just remember, if Marion shows up, Cleveland. And if she brings her Doberman Trixie, well, y'all better run. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you haven't seen the pictures from my latest Sunshine Club event. Probably I don't have time Just for this. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on and where are my grandma's legs? <laughs> my transference power must have glitched and given her my invisibility when she fist bumped me. Oh no, look. <laughs> okay, I know this is bad, but how can you not think that's funny? <laughs> Sorry, but I can't let you break into Jem's house. I know you want that footage, but there's gotta be a less illegal way to get it. I agree. That's why I reached out to Jem when we talked things through. She agreed to give me the video. Jem? The same person who aggressively booped you this morning? <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask her yourself. Hey, girls. Thanks for coming. Jem, hi. Uh, wow, I guess I really misjudged you two. People can change. Yep, whole new Jem. I forgot my key, but my butler will let us in. Oh, look, you're home early. Yay. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Yeah. Wallace, I'd be offended if I weren't already dead inside. <laughs> you know what, Wallace? You do deserve better. Take the rest of the day off. Ooh, 364 day year. You're too kind. <laughs> All right, let's ransack this place and fund that video. Uh, wait, I, I thought you were gonna give it to us. Oh, I'm not Jem. Like you said, people can't change. <laughs> oh, Colby! <sighs> okay, next time one of you uses the power to trick me, I'm gonna fume over it quietly, but at least you'll know I'm really mad. <laughs> Sorry, but any chance I get to be a villain, I'm taking it. I even wore my flash form underwear just so I could feel the part. <laughs> We had to do this. Would you rather my secret be exposed and we never see each other again? Of course not. I just wish you would have told me before you tricked me. Yeah, I don't really think you get how this whole trick thing works. <laughs> Come on, we only have an hour until Jem's back from her mani petty. Well, how do you know that? Oh, because I broke into her phone. <laughs> After I broke into her locker. <laughs> You're fuming quietly, aren't you? Let's just make this quick. You heard her, Colby? Got it. How do you know it's hers? <laughs> it's hers. Let's go. Hello? Wallace, you know I don't do doorknobs. It's Jem. How is she back so soon? That was only time for a mini or a petty, not both. 
Oh, what, so just because I'm a villain, I have to let my cuticles run wild? <laughs> What's that? It's oh, a bunch of my dad's personal stuff he hid in a footlocker so we wouldn't touch it. Then why are you touching it? It's kind of like your secret journal. The more you tell me not to touch it, the more I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> you didn't. I did. Please tell me you didn't read page 55. No, I was asleep at page three. <laughs> Wait, what's on page 55? <laughs> Back to the locker. <laughs> How are you gonna get in there if it's locked? Give a question. <laughs> Amy, wait. I want to find out what your dad's been hiding, too, but is it really worth crossing this line? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I shouldn't go behind his back. <sighs> too late for digging in. <laughs> Hartley. <laughs> what? You know I come from a long line of nosy people. <laughs> it's just a bunch of old clothes and a fake ID with my dad's face on it. Who's this? The Thomas boys, Jack and Ty. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. My dad wasn't in the villain database because he was just a regular guy, Jack Thomas. He only became a villain after he married my mom. This other guy, Ty, must be his brother. Well, why would he keep this a secret from you? Because he's embarrassed. Which is hard to believe, considering he does his hair like that on purpose. <laughs> What's everybody so excited about? Did that weird teacher who tap dances finally win the big Twinkle Toes tournament? <laughs> Mr. Clausen? Hmm. No. He retired from dancing last year. Ah. So he tapped out. <laughs> you get it? He tapped out? I really need to be on stage somewhere. Apparently, there's some super cool secret hero who's been saving people all over town and everyone's talking about it. It's me. I'm the hero. Jake, this is exactly what I was worried about. Once people start talking about a secret hero... Oh, no, no, super cool secret hero. Their words, not mine. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's only a matter of time until people start digging around and they find out it's you. Yeah, and then they'll discover our secret and we're all going down. Our secret? At this point, you broke me, you bought me. <laughs> Relax. No one has any proof of what I did. Besides, it's nice to hear that my heroic deeds are making an impact. <sighs> Reminds me of when I was chaos. I was on the tip of everyone's tongues. Except most of those tongues were saying that they hated me. Oh, I know mine was. Don't you give it up with the hateful comments? Oh, hey, my hate. Oh, careful up there, Bodhi. Can I give you a hand? Nope, I got it. Nope, don't got it. Bodhi! Ah! Oh, gotcha! Oh. What just happened? Harley saved me. She's a hero. What? No, I'm the hero. You didn't save me. No, that's true. He hasn't helped anyone, and he can't tell you any different. Guess what theme I picked for the school dance? It's beyond the stars. What do you think? I think we should be concerned that your drawing skills are that of a fifth grader. All right, Amy, here's your water. And Hartley, here's a list of reasons why we should drop your theme and go with mine. Under the sea. Under the sea? More like under the whelming. Hey, it may be overused, but it's my first dance, and I want to be surrounded by sea creatures when I bust out the stanky leg. The <laughs> stanky leg? That's like 10 years old. I am doing the stanky leg. Well, I've been pitching beyond the stars since I joined the planning committee. And this year, I'm in charge, so we're doing it my way. But you said I was the idea guy. Yeah, the guy who's gonna support my ideas. <laughs> when you're in charge, you can have all the plastic lobsters you want. No, that's the thing. I would use real lobsters. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Milo! Sorry, I am pretty stealthy. My mom says I'm the prance of a young deer. Anyways, I just wanted to go over a couple details before the dance. Oh, sure. The details are, I don't dance, I'm not gonna talk much, and I will not enjoy it. <laughs> this is serious stuff, Amy. For starters, our outfits need to be color-coordinated, so it's up to you to find something peach. <laughs> oh, and I'll wear whatever I want. Sorry, I forgot to add that detail. <laughs> I also signed us up for foxtrot lessons. I know it's a little old school, but we're bringing it back, baby. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> 
Luckily, I made you a list of flowers I'm allergic to, so you know what to avoid when buying my boutonniere. I'm not buying you a boutonniere. You're not buying me a boutonniere. <laughs> Look, Milo, I'm only doing this because you're my friend. Don't push it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just excited to be going with someone other than my mom. You've got big shoes to fill, literally. She wears a size 13. <laughs> You are. Well, I just agreed to go to a school dance, so I don't really know anymore. You're gonna pay for what you did. Yeah, I've done a lot of bad stuff. You're gonna have to be more specific. Hello, Battle of the Brands! <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? So we're gonna make our entrance tonight. No, we've been over this. Hartley and I are gonna walk on stage while you play from an area that's stage adjacent. You know, like the parking lot. <laughs> Amy, you can't just knock down all of Jake's ideas. Although I do hold firm with you that he's not playing the guitar with his feet. You said you wanted to stand out. But the guitar solo, not your nasty snaggle toes. <laughs> okay, Amy, where's the song? Well, Hartley, you know, some say it's deep in your heart, some say it's deep in your soul. You didn't write it, did you? Some say I did not. <laughs> Amy! Don't worry, I got us covered. I wrote a song. You what? Yeah, this is what I can add to your band, songs. Online tutorials have been coming in very handy lately. Uh, Jake, these lyrics are really good. Thanks, I just thought, what would Adele do? Then I did it better. <laughs> Hartley, we can't use his song. We don't have a choice. The contest is five hours away. Look, I know I'm cutting it close, but I can do it. Just give me a chance. I mean, besides, I, I thought this band was just you and me. We don't have a song without Jake. Yeah, or maybe we don't have a song because of Jake. He's been distracting me and ruining my confidence. I just, I, I can't have him in our band. Okay, if you feel that strongly about it, then I understand. I just don't know how to break it to him. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Good news, I just don't know the song. You're out of the band. <laughs> Come on. And we've looked everywhere. Why is it so hard to find this wannabe havoc? Yeah, who would have thought searching an entire city to find one random person would be so difficult? <laughs> Look, it's her. Huh? Told you it'd be easy. <laughs> Hey, Havoc heads. It's your favorite supervillain, Havoc. Come and join me on this live heist as I bust into this bank. And let me know in the comments how much you want me to steal. OK, first of all, I have never been that excited about anything. <laughs> and what kind of villain announces what they're going to do before they do it? Pfft, amateur. What's next? She going to try and pick that lock? Good thing I brought my lock pick. <laughs> Just one more minute. Maybe I can help. Uh, go to bounce. I'll give you guys a full recap later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. No, keep going. I want to see what I do next. Wow. You're Havoc. Yeah? I think the real question is, who are you? Your biggest fan. My name's Ellie. Well, hello, Ellie. <laughs> You can't quit being a superhero. That'd be like me quitting the Sunshine Club. Wait, is that on the table? Because that's a two for one I could definitely get behind. <laughs> Amy, please talk some sense into her. Hartley, it's her decision. She wants to abandon the persona that's been the bane of my entire existence, I say. Listen to your heart. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about settling down here in Valley View. Forget your heart. You can't quit. <laughs> Why not? You quit being a villain. Yeah, but I still amuse myself with minor crimes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I, I gave it all up. You're right. What about your powers? You can't just let them go to waste. Wait, you don't have to quit. You have the power to stop time, which means you can be a superhero and take breaks whenever you want in other places that are not Valley View. <laughs> that is true, but I also took an oath that I would never misuse my power for my own selfish interest. Oh, well, an oath is an oath. I promised my grandma I would never tell anyone her real name is Petunia. <laughs> oh, no. 
Now you two have to take an oath to never tell anyone her real name is Petunia. <laughs> Look, as long as no one catches you, you'll be fine. Trust me, it'll work out. I use my power to take shortcuts all the time. Huh. And that always works out great. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It's literally never worked out once. <laughs> then I have to keep trying, don't I? <laughs> Listen, Starling, I know you said you'd only use your powers to help people, but isn't the whole reason you're in this situation because you haven't helped yourself? Yeah, it is. And if selfishly using my power helps me be the best superhero I can be, then technically I'm doing it for the greater good, right? Well, now you are just loopholing like a pro. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, he's doing it now, okay. I just took a 45-minute nap. You were right. This is the answer. Time to go back to Centropolis and start my new life. Thanks, Amy. Uh, anything that gets you out of here that makes you happy. Anything that makes you happy. <laughs> I can't believe Starling actually took your advice. I can't believe she wears a neck pillow when she naps. <laughs> oh, Amy! Hardly, Mom, are you okay? Amy, Shadow immobilized us. I can't use my power. Well, look who's here. Onyx? So he's a toxic cloud now. That's very on brand. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my child. Now we can destroy them. Like we should have long ago. Oh, no! I'm not going down without a fight. And when my grandma catches wind of this, you're all going down. Well, maybe we could call her down here. We could use the help. <laughs> Amy? What are you doing here? What's going on? My look, get out of here. It's not safe. That shadow. She's a villain. But what's that thing? Your worst nightmare. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got something to take you both down. Behold, the most dangerous gas known to villains, the supernova! I was gonna hide it in my locker, but I guess fate had other plans. <laughs> well, this is fun. <laughs> my little, where did you get that? Not now, baby girl. I'm in the middle of my hero moment. <laughs> That's not a toy, kid. Put it down, or someone's gonna get hurt. Yeah. You, because you're the only two villains around. Cover your noses, ladies. This stuff might stink. No, Milo, wait! There's something I need to tell you. I'm not who you think I am. I'm a super villain. I'm Havoc. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I'm sold. My family and I have been hiding out here. In Valley View. That's the coolest thing ever. My best friend's an actual supervillain. Uh, I think you mean my best friend's a supervillain. Okay, how about you two fight over me later and we fight them now? <laughs> hey, Kobe, give us a hand with these Christmas decorations. Sorry, I'm already helping Celia. But we're trying to create joy for the sake of greed. <laughs> and a good son would help us first. <laughs> but I... I... I'm happy to help. <laughs> what do you need? You can start by untangling these. <laughs> you know, a good son would stop there, but a great son will go hang these for you. Guilt trips are the secret to good parenting. Haha! <laughs> 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 well, that looks great, Colbs. Okay, now use your kinetic manipulation to put that dog with the inflamed nose on top of the roof. That's a reindeer. I don't care what it is, it just needs to fly. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Yikes! What's this? You look like the world's most dysfunctional nativity scene. <laughs> How is that reindeer floating in midair? We, uh, we don't share secrets with our competition. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's played his last reindeer game. 
Mr. Tennyson, we're trying to work here. Well, you're wasting your time. The judges will be here in a couple of hours, but it'll be fun to watch you fail. What's your at? I'll tag you. Excuse us. How are we gonna decorate fast with him around? We can't use our powers. A fake wreath? Yikes. I didn't know you were those people. <laughs> I got this. <gasps> oh no! It looks like Jay Snow is deflating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you better hurry. She's blowing away. 